crime. You forcefully, forcibly kidnapped Nabi Kano on the 19th of June 2021 in Kenya, where he had gone to freely as a British citizen. You have no, you have no extradition procedures. You went to Kano, used DSS goons, you captured him, you put him in solitary confinement and detention in Kenya. Then on the 27th of June 2021, you forcefully, after blindfolding him and torturing him, renditioned him, brought him back to Nigeria. You come and stand trial. On the earlier counts, he had been standing trial. And as usual, they came to court again and filed their seventh amendment which finally came up on the 17th of January, 2022. By that 7th Amendment, they had 15 count charge. We filed a notice of preliminary objection for so many reasons that we listed, one of which is that, or was that, you cannot try a person on the same charge that was going on when we forcefully rendition him back to his country without going through extradition procedures. And the international laws are there, the local laws are there, local cases are there, international cases are there that have decided it all. They said they could not do that. And that the charges themselves were watery, had no basis, had no legs to stand on. They charged themselves. They had no legs to stand on. They had no substance. You did not say where an offense was allegedly committed. By who? You are still using the same proof of evidence that you had used in 2015 on other charges that you had already withdrawn. So we said there was no case. The learned trial judge, the Honorable Joseph Bin Taniago of the Federal High Court, Abuja, listened to our argument against the federal government and struck out eight of the 15 counts in April 2022.